Hello, this is the Ramblings of an Indisciple Mind podcast for Friday, May 6, 2016. As of today, Sierra is still missing. So I, um, I uh, broke down and, and you know, broke down like there was such, such a swell of reasons for you to do it, but I went ahead and I downloaded recently Snapchat, and I really did it for one reason, and that was, uh, I follow Evo Terra, I listen to his podcast, he and his wife do, called the Opportunistic Travelers Podcast, and, you know, so that started when, I guess at the beginning of 2015, he and his wife had decided that they were going to, they sold their house, they sold the car, and they went traveling the world. And I think I talked about this way back a year ago, over a year ago. And, you know, they've settled in for, for, the, for the time being, um, for this year mainly, they've settled down in, in Bangkok, Thailand. And Evo on the podcast has mentioned that, you know, he does these little video updates, these, these small video updates on Snapchat pretty much every day. And he mentioned it. I thought, well, that would be interesting. So I went ahead and downloaded uh, Snapchat on my phone and and I, I, I found Evo and I added him as a friend on there and so now I get his little I get his little uh, yeah, it's interesting because they have you can create a story they call it and that can be a, a succession of little mini videos with maybe a, a, a still shot in, in, in between and you know so usually a, a story for Evo is going to be you know four or five different little video clips of, you know, 15 to 30 seconds in length, you know, so the whole thing's a, a couple, three minutes, and, you know, it's been interesting, but I was thinking, you know, what else could I use this for, and I went looking for, looking for people, you know, th- that I know are in the social media space, a lot of the, the people that are, that are authors and stuff I thought might be on there, um, and I found one or two, but not very many of them. I, I'm not pleased with the search feature. Uh, you know, for example, and I probably are, I'm probably not really missing anything there, but you know, Alton Brown's been touring the country with his uh, Eat Your Science show, and you know, he's here in Detroit today. He's doing a show tonight at the Fox downtown Detroit, and I got to tell you. I, I'm really, really bummed I'm not going to be there to see it. I really am. He's, he's one of my favorite celebrity peeps, and I would, I would love to see his show, and I would love to meet him someday. But I digress. So anyway, I, I, you know, he, had, he had posted this because you know, here in Detroit, there are, we have these restaurants called Coney Island restaurants. And you know, they, the, the premium... Or the signature dish is called the Coney Island, which is hot dogs with chili on them and typically mustard and onions as well. Uh, and it's a big thing here. There's there's Coney Island restaurants all over the darn place around here. You can get other stuff there too. It's it's kind of a, a big full service um, thing. Uh, you can get it's like a, a diner food. You get that food and breakfast and you know, Greek, it, Greek, some Greek stuff is, is kind of popular there because we do have a bit of Greek influence here. Anyway, uh, so he had released this video about um, going to a Coney. He says well, apparently when you're here in Detroit, you have to have a hot dog, which is probably true. And he, there's, there's these two um, Coney Islands downtown. They're right next to each other. One's Lafayette and one's American. And he did this little video of him doing both of those and trying them out. And he did, he did the ultimate tease. He says, okay, uh, you know, standing outside of him afterwards, I'm ready to, I've had them both. I'm ready to make my choice. 
And my pick is, and the video stops. You know, so he really cliffhangers you. Apparently, he's going to release it, like, at the show or later or something. Which one was his favorite? But somebody uh, responded to him on Twitter and, and was saying how much he hated his cliffhanger, how much he hated Alton Brown's cliffhanger on Snapchat. And I'm like, well, I had searched for Alton Brown. And, and the problem is the search is by user ID, but it's, it's not... It's, it's, it doesn't use like a wild card kind of search. I wonder if you could actually put like an asterisk and have it act like a wild card. I actually didn't try that. But, you know, so I, I did a quick, I did a quick um, Google search and I did Alton Brown Snapchat. And I found the tweet where he announced that he was on Snapchat and... And, and his user ID on Snapchat is the Alton Brown, as if there's going to be a ton of Alton Browns. But so I get the Snapchat and I'm typing this thing in, and it's not until I've typed in the whole thing that it goes, okay, here it is. So it's like, you know, it doesn't mean like a wildcard search, and there's no way to do a name search. If you're comfortable having it upload your entire contact list on their servers, they'll try to do a match for you. I wasn't really comfortable with that. So, you know, I've got the few people I've found and that I wanted to, and I added I added out, and so I'll start seeing his stuff. Although I, I have a feeling I... Because he, he releases stuff on Facebook also, and I usually watch that. And I doubt I've, I've really missed, missed much, but I thought, what the heck. And then the other technology that, that I discovered today, and maybe I'll... I'll save some of these pictures and put them on the put them on the blog post but I don't know what they call it but they've got this this thing where they can alter your face so you know it starts off with the camera pointing at you when you first open when you get into it and if you tap on the face, do a long tap on the face, you'll get all these lines all over the face like it's mapping your face. If you've ever seen, like in a movie, they're mapping somebody's face. It looks like that. And then they give you, they give you a bunch of, I forget what they called it. It wasn't filters. It was something else. I, 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 like I said, I forget. But they, you have this whole range of choices of things that will alter your face. So you, there's one that will, and I don't, I'm not going to remember them all. That's okay. There's one that will turn you into a bunny. So you get a bunny nose and you get bunny ears. And it, it does a really good job because, <clears throat> because when you turn your head, it adjusts the bunny ears. Now, it's not perfect, but it, it's pretty good. It actually might work a little better on somebody with hair. I don't know. Um, if it does, there, there's one where you, he creates like a big pink hat like a woman might wear to Kentucky Derby or something like that. Uh, there's one that makes you look like a wolf. It gives you a couple of ears and your face is all turned like you're a white wolf. And, and you know, a, lot of them have, a lot of them have some sort of interactive element to them. So like with the bunny one, if you open your mouth... With the bunny one, if you open your mouth, sorry, I'm having a problem with the phone. Uh, great, phone's too hot; it's turning off. So I guess there won't be a YouTube video today. Mm, sorry. Anyway, uh, if you open your mouth, you get kind of this. You, you, your your eyes get bigger and 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 they turn red, and you get this fake bunny mouth. It's open with these sharp, spiky teeth, and it makes a roaring sound. Like suddenly you've got the rabid bunny from hell coming after you. And, and that was, that, that's kind of funny. There's another one where it gives you kind of rosy cheeks. And then when you open your mouth, uh, your eyes get really big. It doesn't change the color, but they just get like, they just get really superhuman big. And, well, not, you know, they're bigger than usual. And like a rainbow is coming out of your mouth. 
you know, like this rainbow water is just pouring out of your mouth. There's little speckles of magic uh, and, and stuff. And so that's kind of interesting. And then there's the one that was probably my favorite of the interactive ones. This is one, it, it's supposed to give you a little bit more bushy eyebrows. I, you, know, I, I, you can tell it a little bit, but what I liked is when you raised an eyebrow or raised both your eyebrows, it gave you a monocle uh, on your eye, like you're an old time British dude with your monocle on your eye. And that was kind of fun. There's one that's a koala, it gives you a koala face. And then when you uh, raise your eyebrows, you get you see koala paws come up uh, in, in the screen. So there is some. And, and there's a couple that do strange things with your face. Um, one gave me like a pinchy face kind of thing that was weird. Another one did, did, did kind of this strange, made your mouth small and your eyes kind of small and your nose small, but the face is still the same size. And, and it looks hilarious. Like when I smile, it just, it looks hilarious. I was, I was just making different expressions and cracking myself up on this thing. The other thing that was really impressive was there's this thing where you can uh, do what they call face swap. So they got a couple different ways you can face swap. You can face swap, I don't know why I'm fussing with that. Uh, you can face, face swap, uh, if you got like somebody else next to you, you can face swap. And then you can also face swap using a picture on your phone. And it will kind of look out there and say, okay, so which, which pictures have which, which pictures have faces in them that presumably aren't mine because I got a number of pictures on my phone that are my face from various profile pics and stuff. And it didn't show me any of those as options, but it showed me just two. And, and one of them was the picture of uh, Hans Gruber from Die Hard, good old, um, what's his face now? <laughs> I can't remember his darn name. Uh, anyway, you know what I'm talking about. And it, will, it does change my features a bit, but it wasn't quite as noticeable. Maybe, maybe my, my, my face type is kind of similar and, and, and whatnot. But then when I, I also had this picture of my buddy Darren and I clicked on that one and that was wild because it really did a great job. I mean, so if Darren ever wants to know what he looks like without hair, I can make that happen. <laughs> it was funny because it's just like, you know, it changed the mouth and it changed the eyes. And, and, and even as I'm moving my mouth, it still looked like, it still looked like him, but it was, you know, me controlling it. So it was really weird, but you know, it was still had my lack of hair and, and all that. So it was kind of fun stuff kind of fun stuff so that I was playing around with that a little bit thought I'd share that something new that I'm playing with but I will be back tomorrow and I'll be talking to you then so be seeing you